Hi guys, this is Alex from Mason Lifestyle. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, today we are going to be talking about 10 classic patterns that you should have in your stash. And I'm feeling a little classic with my new M6696 dress and also a little glam with my Ana Luisa jewelry. And guys, they were so kind to send me this jewelry to show you and I was kind of really impressed with this company. Um, I saw them through Brittany J. Jones and Lindsay from Inside the Hem. And I told them, you know, I really want some jewelry that I can wear with my existing jewelry. And if you guys have been here for a while, you guys know I like sparkly things. So they sent me these beautiful earrings. This is um, the Elise earrings. And then I am wearing the Ursula, Ursa white necklace. And then the Celine ring, which I have been wearing nonstop because I absolutely love it. And I can kind of stack it with my other rings. And it looks like I have a little bit of extra glam going on, which totally love it. But guys, the one thing that I loved about them, they are a carbon neutral company. And, you know, even if they're packaging, they sent me a cute little box where all of the jewelry was in, in little pouches like this, which is, I think, kind of awesome for traveling. And also, if um, you just wear your jewelry every day, you can also put some of your sewing needles in here. So I totally love little things like this. They are actually having a Valentine's Day promotion and it's going to go on until it's going running right now until the 15th of February. So I think you guys should check it out. I'm going to go ahead and put a link below. But again, Ana Luisa Jewelry, you guys should totally take a look at it because it's really nice jewelry at affordable prices. All of these items, um, each one retailing under $60. So Hey, that's my price. But let's talk about those 10 classic patterns that you should have in your stash at all times. And guys, I don't know if you um if you guys go to sewing pattern review, I go to that website all the time. Totally awesome topics and um in their forum, but I love seeing what other people have to say about patterns all the time, right? Especially kind of like with this dress and those too much gathers on the back, it always gives you kind of like a leg up, right? About um, when you're gonna kind of just jump into a pattern, right? So they had a list of the most reviewed patterns and who put the most comments out. And, you know, I get, apparently the one of the most patterns that they had reviewed for quite some time. It's actually also, and it's no longer the most reviewed, but it used to be, and it's probably one of my favorite patterns. And you guys are gonna say, that is just such a simple pattern, but that is why I love it so much. So that is the M8058. And guys, this pattern was reissued by McCall with this new number, but it is a bodycon dress. I love this pattern. Okay, you have, I mean, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six different views. Six different views, and you have, um, a crew neck version, a V neck version, so you could kind of even, you know, glam it up like I am with some pretty jewelry. And um, you got short sleeve, sleeveless, long sleeve, three quarter sleeves. You have knee length, you have T length. So I love this pattern and you can make it with less than two yards of fabric. So I'm sure everybody has this pattern in the stash. And if you don't run out and go get it when it's on sale. Get yourself a couple of copies. I think I'm gonna get myself a second copy because I use this pattern all the time, all the time. So we're gonna keep going. Here is another pattern that I absolutely love. And did I do, I think I did a sew along in this pattern, guys. It's M7893 and it is a wrap dress. Um, 
I really love this pattern if you're a beginner. You know, it helps you to kind of like stabilize the seams. There are not a ton of pieces to it. It's easy to sew. You guys know I love my knits. Totally love my knits, right? And I believe that for this pattern, I use two and a half yards of fabric and I look kind of pretty fabulous with it. And I'm gonna try to see if I can kind of put a picture of, um, I know it's on my Instagram, but I'm gonna try to see if I put a picture up of this pattern because I gotta say, I look real cute on that. Super easy to make. It took me a day to do that so long with that pattern. So it's a good one. Talking about wrap patterns, and this pattern is more of almost like a wardrobe kind of pattern. This is Simplicity 8925. And guys, I was checking to see if this pattern is, I think this pattern may have gone out of print. Don't quote me on that. I will put a blog up for this video and I will tell you if it's, uh, if it's out of print or not. But um, this is a great pattern. I've made that gorgeous dress. Um, but it also has a top, a skirt, and a pair of leggings. So again, something that you can mix and match. And I believe I made that dress now twice. Twice. So awesome pattern. Totally you should guys have it. Here's a great pattern for fall. Like, you know, we're not a fall. It's, it's full-blown winter now, you guys. Full-blown winter. So this pattern is S8982. And I did a sew along too for this top. I love the gather sleeves and the big um, cuff in there. So again, another great wardrobe um pattern with skirts in different lengths if you are a beginner this pattern is awesome because you have skirts with elasticated waist so you don't have to worry about buttons zippers or any of that not so scary um stuff but if you're a beginner perhaps right that you're like mm, let me just kind of not go down the um what is say the, like the hard rabbit hole because once you figure out those zippers it's not bad right neither are the buttons but um great pattern to have and you guys know that um you know i did a video on this on kind of like some of my gripes sometimes with sewing patterns in the finished garment measurements and butterick 6841 you know, I told you guys about this pattern and how I had to buy both of their size ranges because I didn't have the finished garment measurements and I usually just grab the larger um, range, but it was really large for me. And if you guys see my measurements below, I'm not a small gal. But um, this is your classic button-down shirt. And I've made this pattern now twice with flannel fabric it's taken me um and i've used plaid right so i have to match my stripes and all of that good stuff and every single time it's taking me three yards of fabric because i really want to match my my stripes i want to kind of do the plackets add a bias and all that good stuff but guys great pattern and you guys know i love palmer pledish i love all of their tissue fitting patterns and this is one of them Although, I mean, it's a button-down shirt with, you know, drop shoulders. So, a good one for the stash. And if the husband wants um, if the husband wants a shirt, you can make it with this one, too. Um, talking about shirts, here is one. And I saw this one from Whitney, a Tomcat Stitchery. I know she did a sew-along for this pattern. It is another great pattern. It is a button-down shirt, but it's definitely a little bit more fitted. And this pattern also has a pussy bow or sleeveless at the tunic. That is Vogue 8772. Another great pattern to have in the stash. Um, again, and if you kind of look at a lot of the patterns that I'm showing you guys, they are they are classics. There's, there's nothing trendy to them. There's no jumpsuits here, right? Because those types of things come in and out of style. 
right? So you just kind of like the patterns that are the, the classics, are the mainstays that you can make it in 10 different fabrics and they will look beautiful and timeless time and time again. So I have another one and I told you guys that this was the year of pants and I am working right now on my um, ginger jeans but this is another pattern that I know that I will be making pretty soon. And I love it because, again, it's a great pattern um, to make if you are a beginner, especially fitting pants. And I know that this one is going to be a good one. This is New Look 6644. Um, and it is really a pair of cargo pants, guys. And it has some pockets on the side. If you go to Sewing Pattern Review, you will see quite a couple of reviews in there about this pattern. A lot of people give it a good rating. And also one thing that I loved about this pattern is the top, right? With that V-neck, if you guys can see it. Let me see, see the line drawings. So it has a V-neck and you know, you really will realize how hard it is to get like a sweater V-neck until you are looking for it. I know that I was looking for it um, this past December, a couple of patterns with like a V-neck, right? I'm busty. I like something that just kind of breaks down, kind of like the eye, right? A little bit. And it's not like all the way up to my neck because sometimes that just becomes a little bit just too, I don't know. It's just not comfortable, right? And, you know, if you're inside and the hot weather and all of that stuff, you just kind of want to breathe a little bit when you're coming, you know, all those jackets, the sweater, going outside, it's cold, coming inside, it's warm. So you just want something to breathe. So I love that pattern. Another pants pattern that I've told you guys about a couple of times, it is the Pietra patterns from Classic Core Pattern. These pants, guys, I made the shorts in the summer. And I think I told you guys, I made them in linen. They were fantastic, super easy to make. I don't know if there is a sew along out there, but I do know that Classic Core has a lot of information on their website on how to make them. Um, but they have three different views. Let me see if the camera can pan out. Something that's a little bit more of like a whiter leg, a tapered leg in the shorts. They are really flattering. And if you are like me, you have a little tummy, it's awesome because it just goes a little bit over the waist just to kind of keep everything tucked in. I know that I got some twill fabric for this and I, um, I'm hoping to make them again soon, probably for spring, right? Because it's going to rain a little bit around here. So I just want something that looks a little bit more um, dressed up to be around. So great pattern. Guys, and if you don't have this indie pattern, I know sometimes the indie patterns are, you know, $20, $18 per pattern, but this one, this one is worth it. And these patterns, the, these pair of pants were so easy to fit. I highly recommend this pattern as one of those that you should have in your stash. More than something with a waistband, right? The classic waistband. Sometimes when you spend a little bit more time at the buffet table, which I mean, right? We all know you go to the picnic, you have a little bit too much fun. Um, it's good to have that elasticated waist. And another pattern that I love, and this is Simplicity, and it's one of their recent patterns, um, but S9373, it is a cardigan, guys. You can wear this over jeans. You can wear this over a t-shirt and perhaps even your workout clothes. You can make it in a crop, you know, a crop length if you wanted to. You can make it in a longer length. You can make it as a duster if you wanted to. Again, less than three yards of fabric. Awesome pattern to have in the stash. Highly recommend it. I've made it already once. And here is another pattern that um, that I, I really strongly think you guys should have in your stash. And I actually made this coat. Um, I made this coat and um, 
you know, there's a bunch of coat patterns out there with pad stitching and sleeve heads and canvas fabric and all of that stuff and beautiful colors. But if you are a beginner, right, some of that stuff can become a little intimidating or, oh my God, you get towards, you know, you, you get the coat done and you're like, oh my God, now I got to do buttons, right? And you have to like psych yourself to cut holes in your coat. Not with this pattern. This is Simplicity 9187. Guys, it is an oversized coat with drop shoulders, but it is beautiful. Beautiful. It has two different views. And then you can actually, there is a couple of pieces in here where you can even put like a fur trim on the, um, on your collar. I don't know if I would put it on the sleeves. That might be a little too much, but you can do it like a beautiful, um, fur trim on the collar if you want to look a little bit glam. So guys, what are some of your patterns that you have in the stash? And I, I really want you to tell me about these because I want to go and check out those patterns and see if I have it or if I have to go get it. And I don't care if it is in print or out of print. I totally want you guys to tell me and um, in the comments below. And also, don't forget... Don't forget that Ana Luisa is having a Valentine's Day promotion. It goes till the 15th of February, and I'm going to put that link below. So go ahead and indulge and treat yourself this Valentine's Day. All right, guys, I will see you next week. Bye.